twin flame separation isn't similar to common relationship breakdown. At the point when we separate from our flames, it's like our whole lives have been broken. The profound and serious love that we feel towards our twin flames makes any type of split anguishing and practically terrible. Having gotten such countless stories from lost spirits throughout the long term about twin flame separation, I thought I'd at last write about this point. Being in a twin flame relationship myself, I've encountered how overpowering, scary, and unnerving it can get, and that it is so unendurable to isolate, even just for a brief time. Before you read on, if it's not too much trouble, guarantee that you're not in a mutually dependent or unfortunate relationship. The distinction between twin flame connections and mutually dependent connections, is that twin flame connections are characterized by regard, equality, discussion, and solid limits. Then again, mutually dependent connections are portrayed by feeling caught, inconsistent, downgraded, and dependent on the other for a healthy identity worth. Tragically, it is feasible to confuse codependency with twin flame love. Kindly be cautious about confusing the two. Kindly note, Albeit having a twin flame can be useful, particularly as spiritual organizations are a delightful road of development, if it's not too much trouble, remember the accompanying while perusing this article. First and foremost, twin flame, is a hypothetical thought implying that it isn't impartially obvious, yet is rather a supportive name that can portray a special relationship we could insight throughout everyday life. Thusly, kindly do whatever it takes not to join too emphatically to it, if not it can cause you enduring, otherwise known as. Believe it all with some hesitancy. Besides, twin flames don't complete, you, all things considered, they help to help your spiritual development, nobody and nothing, finish. You and you needn't bother with a twin flame in your life as a prerequisite to develop or feel blissful. Thirdly, Kindly attempt to abstain from misusing the idea of having a twin flame to, one, long for a superior, and, more spiritual, accomplice, two, harm your ongoing relationship, three, pressure your prior accomplice to fit into the twin flame job. This is every one of the superfluous psyche game, so if it's not too much trouble, love and esteem what you have proactively, gave it's a moderately solid relationship. With that said, I trust this article is useful. Colon closing parenthesis. Five causes of twin flame separation. One of the most ridiculously excruciating stages is the twin flame relationship of the sprinter and chaser. After the initial phases of happy association and fantasy organization, things begin to warm up. Self images start to conflict. Center injuries, insecurities, and injuries are scoured crude. Shadow selves blow up. Therefore, it's inevitable that pretty much every twin flame relationship fights through show and brokenness from the beginning. Understandably, this comes as an overwhelming shock. What befell the ideal, blushing relationship heaven where everything was kissed and nestled? Right now, many twin flame couples end up confused and disorientated. Was it each of the a falsehood? Was it each of the an illusion? The response is, no. The intensity you encountered was not a fantasy of your creative mind. The feeling of familiarity and a sensation that this has happened before you felt was not a supernatural apparition. It was genuine. Try not to uncertainty it. It's covered under the layers of your harmed self-images. It could be said that the sole reason for twin flame connections is to assist us with profoundly developing and becoming the most ideal renditions of ourselves. Truth be told, despite how troublesome they can be, twin flame connections are so strong because they are impetuses of development. Our twin flames help to uncover the dull, repudiated, cracked pieces of ourselves that we've stowed away mercilessly. That. Yet our twin flames incite our internal development by unexpectedly, or deliberately, maddening us. The outrage we feel towards them is just actually an impression of the displeasure we feel towards ourselves. Once in a while one, 
or the two accomplices in a twin flame relationship become so chafed and unequipped for existing together that they are isolated. What is the cause of twin flame separation? We'll see underneath. 1. Mental and spiritual immaturity. Life is a course of development. Besides the fact that our actual bodies develop, however, our internal identities develop also. One of the essential drivers of twin flame separation is immaturity. At the point when we're juvenile, we have a low ability to appreciate individuals on a deeper level implying that we battle to recognize, oversee and adapt to our feelings and those of others. That, yet spiritual connections are made to disintegrate the self-image, and that's what the self-image scorns. 2. Absence of confidence and regard. The significant prerequisite vital for working flawlessly in a twin flame relationship is by all accounts confidence. For instance, before Saul and I met, we both chipped away at adoring and tolerating the individuals we were. This is likewise valid for other effective twin flame associations. Without figuring out how to adore yourself first, there can be no certifiable love for other people. All things being equal, the adoration is polluted with poverty, codependency, and conditions. We can never give unconditional love to our accomplices without first appearing furious with unconditional love towards ourselves. Thus, some twin flame connections sadly disintegrate under the heaviness of insecurity and self-loathing. 3. More life examples should be learned. Life necessities to set you up before you enter a twin flame relationship. At times this implies that you want to enter different connections, lay out new kinships, or expand your background, travel, volunteer, find another line of work, before you're prepared. This is each the question of experimentation. A few conditions will present you with delicate knowledge, and others will leave you crushed and battling for air. Regardless, don't separate yourself from the world. The more you test your limits, the more you learn. 4. Recuperating necessities to happen. Once in a while, our twin flames appear at a point in life when we are enduring massively. Our experiences might come from misfortune, passing, type of abuse, or significantly another relationship separation. We may not genuinely be in that frame of mind to open up yet. Hence, a course of recuperating might be important first. 5. It's just not the time yet. Life can be mysterious. Once in a while twin flame separation happens because the second time isn't correct. At times other excursions should be finished, and others should be met. In some cases, we don't have the foggiest idea about the motivation behind why. The best thing to do in this situation is to give up. This can be incredibly hard, however, trust that the experience will assist you with developing further and more astute. Who can say for sure what's to come brings? Losing your twin flame is quite possibly the hardest thing you will do at any point in sight. Whether through death, situation, or the inability to coincide together, twin flame separation is a bad dream. The non-appearance you feel is significantly incapacitating. The misfortune you battle with resembles dark quicksand. Your crushed expectations and dreams grip you like shrapnel. You stroll through life feeling vacant, numb, lost. There isn't anything in life that can quite contrast with the profound and serious misery of losing your dearest. Step-by-step -step instructions to recover from twin flame separation. Despondency is a significant piece of the recuperating system. My aim isn't to wave an enchanted wand and make your aggravation disappear. All things being equal, I will probably assist with expanding your point of view and facilitating your recuperation. You are areas of strength for A, and spiritual being. You have the right to get the pieces, mend and continue with your business. Open your heart and take in these words briefly. At the point when we experience tremendous misfortune, it can be difficult to recall these bits of insight. Before you read this rundown, I believe you should know that even though it felt like your twin flame was your universe, you are fit for tracking down completeness without anyone else. Recuperating from twin flame separation can require months, 
frequently years, and once in a while many years. Hence, forever be delicate and patient with yourself. 1. Understand why the separation happened. Frequently to discover a sense of harmony in the brain, we want to understand why something in our lives happened. Assuming your separation was purposeful, you could get a kick out of the chance to investigate the fundamental reasons and causes. In understanding why you'll have the option to learn significant illustrations about yourself that will assist you with developing personally. 2. Understand that twin flame separation makes you more grounded. From the get-go, this nearly seems like a wiped-out joke. More grounded? How is it that that could be valid? While losing your darling briefly causes massive misery and trouble, in the drawn-out it can produce you into the individual you were intended to turn into. Like a phoenix coming to life, twin flame separation consumes you so savagely that you feel like useless, pointless debris. Be that as it may, after a period, assuming you permit it to, this course of consuming can bring forth strength, fortitude, and boldness. 3. Permit yourself to grieve through self-articulation. Extreme feelings are frightening. Consequently, the greater part of us will generally stow away, smother or divert ourselves from respecting them. On the off chance that you're encountering incredibly awkward feelings like discouragement, outrage, and sadness, dial back. Make space in your life to grieve. This isn't about self-indulgence, it's about effectively encountering your feelings. One of the most amazing approaches to effectively encountering feelings is through self-articulation, for example, journaling, painting, playing an instrument, moving, running, climbing, cultivating, and so on. Find what feels better, and go to that spot. Try not to stay static. Get going, this is a strong method for mending. 4. You are not your torment. At the point when we are in a lot of languishing it's extremely simple for us to get hung in casualty jobs. Despairing is agreeable when it shields us from vulnerability. However, recollect this, torment is a passing sensation. It might be an exceptionally steady inclination, however, you are not your torment. You are far beyond your torment. Warming up to torment, opening to it, and permitting it to show you, shows you that aggravation is transient. Torment uncovers to you the parts within yourself that haven't recuperated at this point. Torment strips away the affectation and illusions and uncovers to you the reality of what is there. Your injuries, your insecurities, your convictions, your connections. Torment shows you that you have adored profoundly and completely. It uncovers to you your excellence, your own delicate heart. At last, when torment is completely acknowledged at the time, it uncovers a more profound truth. That you are limitless. You are not limited by any identity or story of torment. Torment is just a passing cloud in the sky that is you. 5. Our twin flames are not answerable for our satisfaction. Twin flames strongly facilitate our development, yet they are not needed for us to be content. Completeness and satisfaction can be accomplished without the presence of our twin flames. Sadly, a typical fantasy about twin flames is that we some way or another need them to be finished. 6. Mix the mix is tied in with taking your disclosures and effectively applying them to your life. At the point when you sincerely give without obstruction over to what life is introducing to you presently, enduring stops. This is more straightforward in principle than it is, in actuality. So be thoughtful towards yourself. Go at your speed. This requires some investment. And in particular, be available to relinquish anything that no longer serves you. One final thing. Unconditionally cherishing yourself including your imperfections, mix-ups, and shadow parts is all vital for mending. Frequently the primary justification for why we experience a disaster, in any case, is because of our self-hatred and absence of self-understanding.